Hello and welcome to CFC Fan TV. I'm in buoyant mood because I'm out for a Christmas party today. That's why I'm slightly overdressed, so please forgive me on that front. But I think we have a lot to be happy about. Apart from Flav laughing at me in the corner, everything is going very well. I'm delighted for a number of reasons. I'm delighted that Alvaro Morata is back amongst the goals. I felt he was very harshly treated considering he was paying a tribute to his pregnant wife. I mean, he didn't need to be booked there, did he? And it's a shame that we miss him for Everton, but I'm delighted that he's back amongst the goals because we are really going to be relying on him, finding the form that he demonstrated earlier in the season if we are to achieve our season aspirations. So great news that he's back amongst the goals. Shame we miss him for Everton, but hopefully he can, can use that goal as a springboard as we move into the festive period properly. Delighted with that. I'm delighted that we are in a semi-final. We could be going to Wembley in March and we could have some silverware by March, which would just be brilliant, wouldn't it? It's a great competition, this. People like to knock it, but I love winning this competition. And silverware is silverware. So fingers crossed we can do it. We've got Arsenal, which it's not the kindest draw we could have got, but equally it's not the most evil. So I think it will be, it's delicately poised. I think we can win. I'm convinced that we will. And I'm really looking forward to the away leg. We're going to take, you know, what, 2013? We went to Arsenal, we took, I think we took about 9,000 fans there and we really did take over. So I'm looking forward to doing that again if we get that amount of tickets. But it will be really, really exciting going to the Emirates en masse, ready to knock them out of competition. Uh, I'm also delighted. I think this is, the, this is the zenith of my happiness today and it revolves around one man and that man is Ethan Ampadu. I thought he was extraordinary yesterday. I thought he played so well. He was a complete defender and it's important to remember that he's only 17 years old. It's ridiculous quite how complete he is. Uh, I actually took a lot of enjoyment from what he did after a minute and a half when he went through Jermaine Defoe, really gave him a whack. I know he got booked. I know it's not ideal. I know people will think I'm an idiot for saying this, but I like to see that. I like to see that he's not overawed by the occasion. He's not scared of Jermaine Defoe and his incredible footballing record and he let him know he was there. That is very, a very English saying in football and I was pleased to see it. From then, I don't think he put a foot wrong though, if you consider that putting a foot wrong, which I suppose it is, but I was quite happy to see it. But from then, I thought he was just exceptional. Touched the ball 105 times. I think that is massive. Considering his age, considering the position he plays, the fact that he's always demanding the ball, it just looks so good, doesn't it? He, when, when Willy Caballero had hold of the ball, Ampadu was demanding it. When Gary Cahill, the club captain, had hold of the ball, Ampadu was demanding it. He's happy to travel with the ball forward and start the attacks, move into the midfield the way that David Luiz did so successfully last season. He just looks so good. I am unsure of his best position. I've seen him play in two different positions now, central midfield and centre-half, and I think he's looked exquisite in both. I think I prefer him as a centre-half but it's just wonderful to have him on the pitch. And something else, I've seen some quotes from him today which really did fill my heart with joy in this festive season. And that is that Ethan Ampadu is like us. He has grown up loving Chelsea. The players that he holds in high esteem and the players that he grew up adoring are the same players that we did. He's just like we are. He's just better at football than we are. But he loves John Terry. He loves Didier Drogba. So do we. So to have a player who we can empathise with and uh, just feel an affinity with as much as we can Ethan Ampadu is just delightful. He only made one foul last night as well. That was the one that I've highlighted already. Two interceptions and seven clearances. That is a sign of just a complete defender. He looks so competent back there and I think we could see more of him this season. I think that our squad is light in certain positions and I feel that Ethan Ampadu really could play a role. Antonio Conte seemed to be full of his praises as well and yeah, the world really is that boy's oyster, so it's very exciting. One more thing I just want to say thank you for is this channel is officially one today. Uh, we have been going exactly a year, so I just wanted to say thank you. Happy birthday, CFC Fan TV. We're now on, I think it's nearly 36,000 subscribers. We love you all. We're all so grateful to your support. Instagram, you've been brilliant. I love the engagement on there, and our Twitter account is also doing very well, and we are so grateful to you all for supporting us. Uh, we made a big decision at the end of last year when we created this channel. We weren't sure how it was going to go, but through your support, it's gone brilliantly and we are so excited about what the next 12 months hold in store. So thank you. Wembley awaits with a bit of luck and Ethan Ampadu is brilliant, Morata's scoring and we are not going to get Allardyced on the weekend. We're going to beat Everton. I know they're in good form, but I'm convinced we can do it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button right now. I'm going to get drunk with Flav and Craig. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.